Hey everybody, Jochen Haydn here, and I want to take a few minutes of your time to talk to you about an upcoming game that I'm very excited about. I'm probably a little late to the party to even be mentioning this now, but hey, I've got this YouTube channel and I've been gaining subscribers lately, so I figured there may be some people with similar interest as myself watching this, so here goes. The game I'm talking about is Task Force Admiral Volume 1 American Carrier Battles. And it's currently under development by a company called Dry Dock Dreams Games. For those of you who may not have heard of this game, um, this is going to bring the uh, what this is going to bring to the table is the ability to act as like an admiral in command of an American carrier task force, uh, kind of between the months of December 1941 to January 1943, uh, during that time when the outcome of World War II for the Allies was very much in question. You'll be in charge of a task force by directing its formation types, core speed, destroyer screens, the large surface combatants, and of course, like aircraft flight operations. I'm probably not even beginning to scratch the surface of this game, but I think that's basically it in a nutshell from what I understand right now. For those of you who are aware of the game War on the Sea, I would kind of put the gameplay for this one kind of somewhere in between the strategic and the tactical battle modes of that game where you're a little closer to ground level than directing the entire area of operations but not quite at individual ship level. Uh, so far this game is promising to feature over 91 ship classes, 42 aircraft types, realistic weather and environmental effects, over 30 single scenarios, a quick battle generator and a bunch of other cool features that I'm probably missing. Um, from what I've seen, the artwork on this game looks absolutely stunning. The 3D models are highly detailed, so much so that the designers have bothered to render the intricate differences between the Japanese battleships Congo and Hiei, which are sister ships, but, of, um, but different apparently, all the same. In all of the World War II naval games that I've ever played, I have never once seen the game differentiate the four members of the Congo-class battleships. I think that's very telling about the level of detail the designers of this game are putting into this project. So earlier today on a whim, I reached out to one of the development team members on another Discord server that I'd seen him posting on. And uh, much to my surprise, he instantly replied to me. I was very friendly. <clears throat> I told him I was interested in the game and I invited him over to my Discord server and he accepted the invitation. So we proceeded to have a great conversation about some of the features of the game and its development. And he said he was going to stop by there with major game updates to share. He also said we could reach out to him on the Task Force Admiral channel, <clears throat> excuse me, or or my Discord channel by atting him, if you're familiar with that, if you have any questions. I think it's a pretty awesome resource to have and access to one of the lead developers of the game we're, we're all interested in. So I invite anyone who's interested in this title to head over to my Discord server, join up, and you can follow along in the development there too. While War in the Pacific is definitely one of my favorite games and it's my primary focus right now, and it will remain that way until further notice, I do plan on covering this game on my channel here with major developments as well as gameplay and tutorial videos once the game is released. If Task Force Admiral is a game that you want to play and, and enjoy, um, please stick around here for more updates and content. This game will eventually be available on Steam. So go over there and put it on your wish list so you don't miss out on the release whenever it's ready. Thanks and have a good one.